peace. Peace, love, and light to you all. You already know who it is. It's Girl Terry Janae. Back at it with another video. Come on into the room, family. Come on in, come on in. Come on in, y'all. Peace, y'all. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? So, all right, quick message because um, I came on here to do readings and show you guys my love boxes and everything like that, but I feel in my spirit to say this, right? And it might come out um, kind of weird or come out like glowing as always. I'm thankful come out pretty new to some people but I'm, I'm getting goosebumps and chills so I just pray that it flows through me and how it needs to flow out through me all right so um basically you gotta get you gotta get in tune with your power I'm getting a sense in um, getting in tune with a whole new audience and um this audience is more into you know the witchy side rich crab they're into herbs they're into plant-based living they're into a lifestyle um that's more um like god is like like literally going into their power moving into magic moving into all these types of realms okay i'm getting more into people that i'm um, getting in tune with more people that's into spirituality in, in a whole okay and there's many many um, aspects of this but there's so much to this realm to, there's so much and i have so much i have so much power coming out of my palms of my hands right now that you can actually see the glow on my hands take a moment to see this okay you can actually see the glow on my hands all right that means there's power, and I can feel the power reeking from my hands. We are coming into an awareness that we are powerful, magical beings. Powerful beings, completely, all right? And um, it's time for you to get in tune with your power. You need to know what your power is, what's, what you're in tune with. All right, for example, for my nerds and geeks and stuff out there, like for my people that's into anime, into fantasy, into like stuff like Twilight, and into like uh, like stuff like True Blood, and um vampire diaries and uh all these other wiccan kind of things like all these um magical fantasy kind of things all right if you're into those kind of things there's some reason i got goosebumps got chills Whew. i haven't come out with this kind of information before so um, i just got the um the need to speak about it right we have we're powerful you know we have power we have each and every one of us has some kind of individual power within us that we can tap into goosebumps all right like my hair is sticking up like can you see that <laughs> all right so basically it's time for us to get in tune with that uh if you see like harry potter they have wands they have magical tools you know some of them are using some type of words of power to speak onto all their lives casting spells you know all this stuff these things actually exist now to the degree of that maybe we can't really see in this realm but in other realms we possibly can like when we go to sleep all right like we can fly and stuff in our dreams and everything like that so we got to get in tune with what we're doing here in this you know this reality wow, wow what i'm doing this is like i feel a ball of energy like that is so crazy it feels so amazing what we're doing here in this realm is what we're going to get in tune with what we're doing over there in that realm so basically what i'm talking about is get in tune with your power now what are you here to do are you a tinker are you here creating stuff like if the people you see people doing creative um, magical kind of um, jewel jewelry like crystal healing jewelry right they you see a lot of people creating stuff from copper and like wearing the crystal healing jewelry maybe that's the that's their gift that's their power because they're they're now creating amulets <laughs> amulets um, some these words are just coming to me amulets and and um, certain type of jewels and gems you know to create some kind of to harness power we harness your power to amplify your power and um create some kind of magical thing going on in your life or in just the lives of others um, sh um shift energy the way you need to shift energy people, people become breaky healers breaky masters people don't see it as magic but it's literally actually energy coming from the palm of your hands from the from whatever you think whenever you think that from your will to heal people whether you're a healer Okay, your healer, your your um your power is to heal people. You see all these um fantasy like literally if you go into like games and stuff, the games, the fantasy games. Do you, are you a hunter? Are you a martial artist? Are you a warrior? You got the people that's martial artists around here that's on the front line, you know, um in the in the war that we're going through, going in the spiritual realm. And I'm which I'm gonna go into in a second. All right, I'm just channeling as I'm going. I'm just flowing. 
Later, the, um, we have the warriors out here who's into martial arts, into acrobats, who, who can do all these things. We have the, um, the, the hunters that, that, that are really good at shooting arrows or a gun or something like that. We have the mages, the people that are into spiritual magic. They're into um, creating stuff from within, within their own palms, their energy. You know, they're into um, creative candles like me. I'm a mage. <laughs> like, like literally, you're into candle making. You're, you're into, you know, Reiki healing. You're into creating things on with your hands. You're, you're into um, the elements, using the four elements to create power or to harness power. You're into that. Are you uh, a tinker? You're, like I said, you're creating weapons for people, whether it's magical um, staffs. When you, you go around, when you're in, on the West End or you're in Atlanta, you're around anywhere, you, you see these, these powerful, like, uh, god-like figures that have staffs. They have, um, they have golden or copper jewelry around their neck. They all they're, oh, got goosebumps. Are you a tinker? Are you creating magical tools for people? Are you creating wands? Are you creating staffs? Are you really creating jewelry? Are you creating something like that? What is your magic? What is your power? Harness that power and get in tune with that. So we can do something with that in the other realms. Well, we can do something with, during in the spiritual war. This is spiritual warfare. So literally, okay, we're going to that now. Like literally there are, um, there is um, some kind of, um, how do I how do I explain this? Some kind of other realm. Like we are in this in this right here. This is our realm right here. And this um, when we go to sleep or we go into the dream realm, we're traveling. We're traveling everywhere. I'm a traveler. I have a lot of Sagittarius energy, so I travel. I'm a traveler. So I travel in people's dreams. I go to different um, realms. I go to different um, places. You know. So I'm seeing how do you, how do you know your power though, Nay? Um, I just tap into it like it's literally what you've been gifted with and I literally just ask I ask for everything I ask my spiritual team for everything what is my power you know and I'm, I'm guided to it you know all of a sudden I'm starting to see I'm a tinker I'm, I'm everything I'm everything you know I, I'm literally a tinker I, I like doing magic and I can feel magic coming from my hands like I like doing certain things like this you know so um, and yeah I'm a mage tinker um, it was like getting into your craft, your calling, you know what I'm saying? I could be a hunter if I wanted to or get into martial arts and stuff like that, but I, I'm literally the one just doing the magic on the sideline. I'm that, that head honcho witch on the sidelines that you go to for herbs and you come to it for, for um, spiritual power, you just like all that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? So um, <laughs> this is just flowing through me. So literally getting too many powers. So this, cause there's, a, there's another realm, there's, another, there's a spiritual warrior that's going on here. And as you get accustomed and acquainted to your power here in this realm, you're able to do that in the other realms too. And also you're doing that in other realms too, so you're able to get accustomed to it here. It's like vice versa. So because people are also going into their dreams, meditating, and meeting people from different dimensions and, and different um, places, and um, just literally getting into their magic there and getting in tune with that. So I'm just literally just flowing through that, um, what, I'm, what I'm saying. Um, I'm, I am always talking about to Aya in my dreams, but I don't know, I don't follow them. Cause maybe you have a, oh I got goosebumps, maybe you have a spiritual connection to them. Maybe they are part of you, you're part of the soul family. So now we have soul family where that's in our other, you know, um, that's in our lives. We have people that's around, um, a part of our star collection or like uh, our, uh, what is this thing, constellation. We're part of people that's a, a soul tribe. You know what I'm saying? So you meet them in different, realms meet them and when you sleep you know you travel to them when you you log out of here you know so our spirit is infinite so we can go any place at any time anywhere you know we just need to know like astral projection right there exactly astral, astral projection so if you're a traveler and you have all the Sagittarius energy and this is something that I was I got this month that I was um this information I was brought to your astrology will show you exactly where you need to go, what element you need to focus on, what you need to be, um, what your magic is. Literally, it will tell you. So I, I'm a traveler because I have Sagittarius energy, but also I'm a Capricorn. So you know, I, I'm, I'm able to manifest things in this, in this physical realm, really good. You know, I'm a very, I'm a very powerful leader. So like, yo, this is a lot of stuff that's coming on to me, and I literally have some of these things I haven't even thought about until just now. Like literally, it's flowing out of me. So, um, you're inspiring, you're leading. That's awesome, thankful. Um, so, if you are, like, so, okay, for example, um, with my magic, my magic candles, 
I'm gonna call them magic candles because they are magical as fuck. Like, yo, like I'm I'm truly amazed at the power that these magical candles. I got goosebumps. Woo, it chills that these candles are. Like, so I create these candles and um, I put my intention in them, I put my Reiki in them, I put my, my power inside of them. I, I, I create them with my power. So literally, these candles, when I light them, they, they, they spark some magic. You see, you see how bright they shine. Like literally, you see how bright they shine. So literally, they, they do exactly what they need to do. So I have a, a protection candle I just lit last night. And I feel protected and guided, because literally in my dream, yo, in my dream, I was protected like literally protected in my dream. And I go up to people and literally in my dream last night, literally what happened was in my dream, some, some I left out of some kind of place or I was leading a pack of people. And then when I look back, I see that people were, you know, you know, some people were dead, you know what I'm saying? Like people were not alive, like some people got crashed and everything, so I go up to them. And as soon as I went up to them, they start, healing and they become alive again they they start and then i go to another person i hug that person and and i'm hugging that person and then they start healing and it's like yo like i'm a healer i'm a powerful healer so this magic this 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 power needs to be done for healing for healing people so i also felt like in the past lives i was here healing people like I, I truly resonate with pe laying the hands on people and healing. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I place the healing energy into these candles. These candles are purposely here for um, healing. Is it fake hair? Yes, it is. As y'all see, I have short hair. So of course it's gonna be some fake hair. If you wanted to just to have that question answered, sure, yes, it's fake hair. You got a problem with it, you can leave, whatever. All right, so um, I always tie my dreams sometimes. Um, I'm, I'm always tired. My dreams sometimes scare me. Sometimes, uh, what's happening in reality? Probably. Like literally, um, some of us are having premonitions. Some of us are oracles. Okay, confirmation. Some of us are oracles, and we're able to predict the future, predict, um, predict, uh, see what happened in the past, and see what's happening presently in our in our dreams. Okay, I got goosebumps. Tap into your power. Know what your power is, so you can you make use of that power for the world, for this spiritual war that we're up we're up against, for the the enemies that we're up against. You know what I'm saying? Like literally tapping into it, so you can um, so you can go further into deep into your legacy, into your calling, to your craft, into the goal that you, the mission here that you came here to do, okay? This is for the people that, you know, resonate with me on this level, okay? This is not for everybody. This is for the people, some of some of them are just here to be programs. But this is for the people that, that resonate with magic, that resonates with me on this soul level, on this spiritual level, okay? Okay, how do I understand better any references you may have? Um, I go on, like, literally, I be so in tune with my intuition, which is my my gift. Um, getting in tune with an astrology and a numerology will tell you, tap you, tap you into your gifts. I'm a mass number 11. This matrix is genetically coded. So, um, my master number 11 is the power of intuition. I'm called the wounded healer because I go through things myself to help heal the, the people, the, the lives of others. So, I know that I'm a healer. And I would take that energy and I would take with that information and look into healing modalities. What do healers do? You know, they go into Reiki, they get into um, crafting, they get into um, healing themselves energetically. And what, how I understand energy, I understand energy, that's what I need to do. I need to understand energy so I know how it flows, how it works, so I know how to manipulate it, so I know how to harness it and take power and use it and, and um, create my own power. So I, I would literally say get to know yourself by astrology and numerology and also ask the universe what is your gifts, what, is your, what are you here to do, and um, literally just flow through you and get more informed about it. This is the age of information. Information is everywhere. I would say books. Books, it helps as well. Getting in tune with those kind of books that you're into. Um, maybe uh, also on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? This is what I, what I do, okay? Um, so... How is that natural or loving yourself? Shut up. Someone just told me to sh tell you to shut up. Get out of here. Like, literally, you, if you want, if you, I'll, I'll, I'll push you out, you know, just in case. You know, just to make your life better for you. Boom. How is that loving myself 
Um, or what, what was that question? I don't even know. Who cares? Like, I love myself regardless. Having fake gear does not mean I don't love myself. I come on here with no makeup all the time, with my hair natural as ever, myself natural as ever, it's just to show y'all I love myself. I'm not hiding myself behind this. No, I just want to switch up my look a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Love myself even more by looking at myself and like, oh, I can do this, I can do that. The fuck? Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, I just I, I, I don't have time for that. You see, I, I have no time for people that are trying to drain my energy anymore. You see that? Just letting y'all know. So, get in tune with your power. Whether it's singing, you know, with, with, whether you are a songstress or you were a mermaid in a past life or you had some kind of, um, if, or whether you was an angel or you are an angel or earth angel and you have the power and the gift of, of song, um, um, changing or manipulating or doing something with energy through your vocal cords, boom, right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that can, that literally knowing your gift, whether you create things through song, whether you cast spells through song, it actually happens. Whether you are um, um, literally um, using your, your message or using your voice to produce the message, are you a speaker, you know, are you a preacher? You know what I'm saying? Like literally casting um, spells or like words onto your life or the lives of others to help them. You know what I'm saying? And then here comes the haters. You know what I'm saying? So this is um, the message that I want to tell you guys. Get in tune with your gift. You know what your gift is. So you can use it for the spiritual war that's going on. Okay, we have, we have a lot going on here. And it's time for us to buckle up. So I'm saying to armor up too, like um, get in tune with your gifts and um, invest in other people's gifts. You know what I'm saying? If you see that you are a mage and you need to create some wands, create a wand. But if you want to invest in somebody else's um, talent and gift and whatever like that, you can, you know, do that. But it's good to create things on your own, create things with your, by yourself, with yourself, you know. Um, she is talented and beautiful. It is well, uh, thanks, you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I already know. I'm thankful, love. You know what I'm saying? So, so I was saying, I know I'm not gonna stand myself to these people anymore. They already see what's going on on my channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, no, you don't see no immortal on the first part of my name. I have no obligation to follow those set of rules any longer. Okay, you feel me? So get in tune with your gift, get in tune with your magic, get in tune with your calling, so you can use it for the greatest good of all, okay? So that's what I had to tell you guys. Um, if you want to know more about yourself, I would just ask the universe, ask um, the most high who you are, what you're here to do. But when you start saying these words, who am I? What is this? Why am I here? Okay? Those three questions will help shift everything. Uh, Alihio wasn't the first one who said to do those things, but I did hear from him. All right, so give him that credit when it's due. So literally say to yourself, what is this? Who am I? First of all, who am I? What am I here to do? Who am I? What is this realm? What, where am I? What is this? What did I put myself in? Where? What is this? And what am I here to do? That's when you tap into your gift, your calling, and what you're supposed to be doing. I just, wow, the light just started getting brighter. So, yeah. Basically, that's what you need to do. I already know what I'm here to do. I just need to get it done. And also, to keep myself out of the amnesia of this world, because you'll get distracted by all these things here, whether it's television programming, social media programming, going out into the world and just getting distracted by all these dolls, whatever, whatever, it's literally... You need to stay focused on your goal and continue to remind yourself, continue to ask yourself, why am I here? What am I doing? And remind yourself constantly what you do, whether you need to write it down and place, place it in front of you, whether a sticky note or a poster board or something, you know what I'm saying? You need to just remind yourself why you're here, what you're doing all the time, all right? And um, get in tune with that, okay? So yeah, that's what I need to tell you guys. I'm gonna come off and come back on with another live. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into readings if you like. So um, I know that I'm here as an intuitive guide and intuitive channel. I know I'm here to channel energy as well. I am a healer and I am a manifester, all right? So that can mean I'm magic, all right? I'm, I know how to manipulate energy. I'm here as a 
as a healer, but also as a a person that's in tune with her intuition, a guide. I'm here to tell you intuitively what you need to know so you can move forward and, and progress in life. You know what I'm saying? Move forward out of your stuck, stagnant situations. I'm gonna come back on with another live for you guys to go um, deeper into, you know, whatever you need to do. I, pr I wish I had my life purpose reading card so I can help you right here, right now, um, to know exactly what you're here to do, okay? Um, but I don't have that right now um, at the moment. If anybody want to donate for that deck, I'll be excited to help you uh, to do um, to do it with that. But you can know who you are through astrology, through numerology, through biology. You know, um, if you're melanated, you know that you're a child of the sun here. Okay, literally, it's it's through everything through your bloodline, through um, um, your ancestral bloodline, knowing who you are through that. Um, getting your, um, I haven't got it done, but I heard some, it, this does truly help, is getting your, um, ast ast what's that thing called, ancestral line checkup, you know what I'm saying, knowing where you came from and who, who's your ancestors and all this other stuff, that helps, you know, I got goosebumps, God is great, happy you went live, been waiting on for a few days, yeah, I've been, I've been getting myself together, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, like, I've been, I've been like, alright, look, this I've been absorbing too much of y'all energy. I'm I'm getting so sense. I'm getting so in tune with my power right now. It's ridiculous. Like not even ridiculous. It's amazing. Like, but I'm getting sensitive to energy. I'm very very sensitive. So I had to cleanse myself. I had to make sure I'm good. You know, I've still got to take the spiritual bath. You feel me? Um, I had to like get my thoughts in together to know what's my thoughts and what's not my thoughts. You know, because I'm I'm so easy. I can easily absorb things i can hear thoughts from miles away um i'm not scared to add you i just don't want to add you the fuck who are you i'm not scared to add you all right so um i could tell that you were being drained and overloaded yeah i was just like yo i was overwhelmed especially with my own shit that was going on so i was like yo i gotta chill the fuck out you know what i'm saying and get into my my, my own healing you know what i'm saying what is a healer if they don't know how to heal themselves if he wants to stay see that's how i know you a troll I ain't scared to add you and you have no fucking what I, I could see that from a mile away i'm not trying to add no fucking troll um i would love a reading how much all right i'll come back on okay here for you not others i know my life belongs to me but it doesn't belong to me you know what i'm saying i know i have a purpose here and that's why i come on and i had to do my purpose i had to do my callings i had to expose i had to do what i have to do you know what i'm saying um and speak so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Something else I gotta say. Hold on, I feel like this one. Get into, oh, the, some of us, we have a whole spiritual team, okay? And some of us, we need to get in tune with our angels. Get in tune with our angels. Some says demons too, but get in tune with our angels. Have everything work for you. Get into our angels, okay? Um, not much people can tell you this kind of stuff because they they don't believe in it or they feel like they don't know what it is because they're not in tune with it. But there's a lot of things I'm getting in tune. I'm, I'm, I'm in tune with right now and getting in tune to, and it's like yo, like this is much more than what people really think they know. And also with me, I have to let go of everything I think I know and start from scratch at one point as well. So like I had to regurgitate my whole being, like literally know, like understand I don't, I know nothing. I know nothing. I know everything and I know nothing at the same time. So like, yeah. So this is what I wanted to tell you guys. You found a white feather like that? That's just a sign from your angels, you know? And if you have wings, oh my God, that's a whole nother story. I'm not even gonna get into that, but there's a reason why I call myself a fairy, all right? If you have wings, start imagining your wings. Oh my God, earth angels, wake up. Wake up, earth angels, this is for you. If you have wings, start imagining them. Start feeling them, you know what I'm saying? Um, I felt my wings for the first time I went, um, when I was in Thailand. So yeah, I'm gonna get off because that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. All right, but yes, get in tune with your calling, all right? Get into what you're magic, right? Peace, loves.